Hey guys, John Rettinger here. If you're like me, you love Apple, but you become a little bit frustrated with their product updates. You don't know when they're going to come, and when they do come, generally it's relatively sudden. Twice a year I make these videos telling you whether or not I think you should wait to buy a new Mac, or whether I think you should buy one right now, and this video sort of falls into that category. Primarily with Apple, where there's smoke, there's usually some fire in the rumor mill. So let's go ahead and fan the flames and talk about what's coming out of Cupertino. So the rumor mill this year is swirling around two models, the iMac and the MacBook line, not the MacBook Pro. So if you're looking to purchase either one of those models, I definitely recommend you wait at least four to five weeks. That will bring you till the end of October, middle of November to see what comes out. On the iMac front, there have been rumors about a full case redesign and generally a full aesthetic redesign and re-imaging of what the product looks like is accompanied by a keynote. And I would expect us to have a keynote coming, so I don't think we're going to see a full redo of the iMac look. I think we're going to see a redo of the inside of the iMac. I think we're finally going to see quad-core processors, which are great. Those quad-cores have primarily been reserved for the MacBook Pro line. So you're going to see a much, much, much more powerful iMac. It's not going to be a gorgeous case redesign. It's not going to mirror the LED cinema display quite yet. But you are going to get probably twice the processing power. So I think that's definitely a worthwhile upgrade to wait for. It's also sort of been the specter of Blu-ray sort of floating around, so we very well may see Blu-ray, we might not. Sort of following Apple's systematic updates like they did with the MacBook Pro, I think we may see finally SD card slots built into the back of the iMac. Other updates that have sort of been swirling, possibly USB 3.0, which looks like a regular USB cable, but it's got faster transfer time, sort of along the lines of Firewire. So that's great, sort of a faster, up and down speed and faster transfer time in the same USB format that you're used to. So that could be a welcome upgrade. Like I said, I don't think we're going to see a full redesign. I think eventually we're going to see the iMac mirror the LED cinema display, but I don't think that's coming quite yet. So if you're looking for an iMac, wait a little bit. And these, all these updates may very well be accompanied by a price drop, which is always welcome. And that's sort of been Apple's trend in the past few months, is update the specs and drop the price. So everybody wins on that front. On the mobile end, we're looking at updates to the MacBook line. And we're not talking about the MacBook Pro aluminum models, we're talking about the old white polycarbonate models. I think we're going to see improved processors. I think we're going to see it stay at the $999 price point. I think we're going to see faster um, dual core processors, and I don't think we're going to see the mobile core i7s, at least in the MacBook line. We're going to see updates to, to that. I think we're going to see a more durable polycarbonate shell. And rumor has it that the black plastic MacBook may sort of come back from the dead. Um, this plastic MacBook has really an unexpected lifespan. No one expected this to last this long. It seems like Apple is intent on keeping it around for a little while longer. So if you're looking to get sort of the lower end MacBook, definitely wait a little bit. And if you can wait even a little bit longer, I think we're going to see more updates to the MacBook line sort of come January, February, March. Possibly with a tablet sort of slated in there. There's a real big hole with the MacBook name right now. Everything is MacBook Pro. And I think it would be foolish of Apple to leave that MacBook sort of hanging out in the ether. So definitely stick around and, and wait if you can see something for the MacBook. So the moral of this whole video, if you're looking to get a MacBook or an iMac, wait. Don't buy it right now. If you're looking to get a Mac Pro or a MacBook Pro, I think you're okay to go ahead and jump on that right now. The models were updated just a few months ago, and they're still really fast and very powerful machines. Another question I'm getting quite a bit is in regards to the iPod Touch. Should I wait to buy an iPod Touch, or should I buy it now? Well, they were just updated, so I wouldn't expect Apple to suddenly throw a camera in there just a few months after they updated the line. So I think you're safe to buy a iPod Touch. I know a lot of you are disappointed it didn't have a camera, but Apple never promised that it would. It was just rumors. Like all of this, it's just speculation, but it is kind of fun to talk about. So are you excited about any of these potential upgrades? Are you going to wait to buy a new computer? Have you been sort of counting your money and see if you have enough and you're going to hold off until you can, can get the new, updated, fastest, latest, greatest model? Or do you say, screw it, I'm going to buy it now, I'm sick of waiting for Apple, who knows when they're going to do anything? Leave text or a video response, I'm curious what you guys have to say. Anyway, I'm John Rettinger. For exclusive content, check me out at Twitter, twitter.com slash john 4 lakers To learn more about Techno Buffalo, check out technobuffalo.com. Links will be in the sidebar, which I believe is here. So, for now, I'm John Rettinger, and I will see you in the next video.